Johnny appears to be stuck in a dire situation where if he stays to have the fights, he's fearful of the physical violence. And when he escapes them, Amber appears to berate and insult him as being cowardly and unmanly. Yeah, well, that's what, what I recall hearing is as I'm getting Johnny out is, yeah, just fuck guys, you're fuck like you always do. And I did call you pussy. So I, again, I said I was sorry for calling you in one name for every time. I did not call you in, in Toronto. I did not call you. No, I did not. I did not call you a coward. You have the tape, listen. Yes, I will. I did not call you that in Toronto. I have called you that before, but for everything, every time you have a you're so obsessed that you got called, and I'm so sorry, that must be so tough that you got called that one name. Even Johnny's son, Jack, seemed like fair game for Amber to use to insult Johnny and highlight his supposed unmanliness. Oh, good God. Oh, good God. Jack's stepfather teaches him more about being a man than he's a f***ing year f left nothing. Deadbeat dad. Travis McGivern recalls some of the fights he witnessed. So it was typically, I'd get a text from Mr. Depp. I would go to penthouse three, either stay by the door as requested or in the kitchen. And then, I mean, it was just verbal, verbal arguments, yelling. It was typically Mr. Depp wanting to get out of there and trying to convince Miss Heard to, to let us leave. Okay, so let me go and you go. I'll speak to you in a couple hours. Okay? Stop. Why are you saying stop? Because May I so, go? Please, it causes me so much stress when you leave, when you walk away from me with that. It's like you're, you don't understand how much worse you're making this. Please, you're making it worse for me. Okay, I'm sorry for you. Please, I'm only trying to tell you so that you know you're causing me immense stress right now when you walk away like that. I haven't walked away. You're not saying goodbye. You won't let me leave. Let me leave. Oh yeah, I mean, lots of name calling, lots of f bombs, uh, you know. Who was the name calling directed at? So that was typically Miss Heard directing her feelings toward Mr. Depp. What do you recall Miss Heard saying in those instances? Oh dear, it would vary. And to be honest, I, I tried to not pay attention. I was just there to get Mr. Depp out of there. But there were times I've heard Miss Heard call him a <laughs> washed up <laughs> deadbeat dad, <laughs> cunt, you name it. She, she's spewed it. In one of the audios, Johnny resigns himself to being called names like a coward for running from Amber's volatility, overstaying, and enduring its consequences. Indeed. No. But if things get heated, yeah. and it looks like it's going somewhere nasty, <laughs> and the name going begins, and all that stuff, I've got to get away. Mm -hmm. Because it, I don't want to be ever in a situation again. I'm not going to stand and fight with you. I will I not. You can I call me a coward. That. I don't you want You can call that. me anything you want. All those names, do it. But I will not. The following disturbing audio depicts yet another example of Amber calling into question Johnny's manhood as an insult. It's revealed in the trial that it is from an instance when Amber follows Johnny to one of his other houses to resume the fight he escaped from in the penthouse. <laughs> that's oh, that's I, too much to take. No, I'm sure she's. That's pretty bad. She's so disgusting. I'm sure she's great. I'm sure she's great. What else that you do? Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Lay it on me. What else? What else other thing do you want to add? Can't talk you my piece of shit. Oh, no, I want to know. There were, there were even a couple of times when I did escape and I got to my house. Five minutes later, she would arrive. She would arrive in her nightgown, screaming in the parking lot in front of in front of my house, uh, screaming to high heavens. It'd be four in the morning, three in the morning. It was ludicrous. Uh, it was it was so uh, it was out of control. It was uncontrollable. Did I do it? Was that? Kind of waiting. Go get it. Yeah, Wait, is there no other place for you to run in your 1500 houses to go run? Come on, go be a real married man. Go do the way that a man does. Go run to the next house. Every man does. Go run away. I don't turn to the fing ridiculous clown. Hard. It's hard. It's hard. Screwing everybody else over. I tried. I tried. That's what I do.
Johnny asks Amber to leave, informing her that her Uber has arrived, which prompts her to taunt him, saying that she will stay longer instead, and that he needs to take the Uber to run away. She would sarcastically ask him whether he ran out of places to run to in his 15 other houses. Then she would proceed to challenge him to run away like a man would do, again pointing out his supposed unmanliness. <laughs> <laughs> and you got everybody out here almost oh, you're right. You're right. I'm sorry. You're right. You gotta figure it out. You don't you're have not. to figure out what you have to offer <laughs> as opposed to going out and get your kids out. You're right. That's what I do. Lots of the full audio of this consists of Johnny attempting to reason with Amber about wanting to avoid fights and her taunting him about running away from them. Except this time, she doesn't do it in the way their couple's therapist described as jackhammer speech. She instead uses a trenchant, sarcastic speech with some villain-like bursts of manic laughter that appear designed to drown Johnny's relaxed way of talking. Ms. Heard had a jackhammer style of talking. She was very amped up. He had trouble talking at a similar pace. That was a sound that I had gotten very used to. The, the raising of the voice to excommunicate anything that I had to say about uh, the situation. He was cut off a lot, and so he was really overwhelmed. In the middle of Amber's hysteria, Johnny even ventures to give her life advice about the image she puts out versus the real one. You're the most spoiled <laughs> and you got everybody out here almost oh, full, but it's right. the last you're one. Right. I've been sorry. here a lot longer you're than right. you. You're right. You gotta figure it out. You don't you have Figure out what you have to offer as opposed to going out and getting your kids out. You're right, that's what I do. Amber, on another occasion, asks Johnny's help with her anger, then tells Johnny that she becomes human cancer and way harder to reason and rationalize with when he retreats for longer than a few minutes. Man, when you start, when you start talking, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty. Call it out, call me out on it and help me. I will, I will try. You might not even realize I'm doing it, but you call it out, help me. I will try. You can't have any excuses. I will try to help you. If I try to help you, and I can help you, but I leave. If I try to help you, and I can't help you, say, baby, take an hour, I'm in the office. It's, it's, if you want to talk, I'll we'll come get me. Otherwise, I'll come check on you in an hour. That, that would be really helpful. All right? Say an hour. If you just say, it will, you know, it, uh, I promise if you resume this, I just need to know that we will talk about it. Otherwise, I'm dealing with cancer. Doing something that just festers and it gets worse and worse. So you have to realize that, it, you know, in that kind of situation, a few minutes is fine, but then after a certain point, it becomes way worse and become way harder to reason, to rationalize what you become. That human cancer state is what seems to play out in the audio with the unsettling laughter. <laughs> you got everybody out here almost oh, you're the right. last. A recording reveals that at least on one occasion, Amber threw Johnny out in anger for simply thinking that he might run away from a potentially volatile situation. You're about to f split. I don't want to feel like that. You made me feel meaningless. You threw me out of the bed. Room. Yeah, why wouldn't I if I know that, that you're about to split? I mean, that's what I'm saying. You always split. About to split. You always split. So that's... Why would I mean I do blame myself for my actions? I was just laying in bed I watching television, man. I, I was laying in bed watching television. I if he splits and escapes, Amber admitted to chasing after him. There is an audio where he appears to be running away from an angry Amber as she is yelling at him in the distance. <laughs> In one instance, Johnny sounds shaken as she tells him to come closer to her. Come here. Please come here. Please come here. I'm not insulting you. I have not been insulting you. I love you. Johnny, what do you need me to do? I love you. Stop. Don't smack me on the ear again. Don't smack my ear again. Resound to my ear. You like that? 
The contrast is striking in the recordings. Amber wants to be able to be mad, wants Johnny to be there for it, and not retreat when she's mad. You need to let me be able to be mad. Sometimes you're gonna make me mad. I'm a human. I cannot live where it's like. Whereas Johnny advocates for peace and retreating. We, we, we've got to get together as individuals and as a couple because I love you. I do not want to leave you. I do not want a divorce. I do not want you out of my life. I just want peace. Yeah, Matt, it happens. It happens. Yes, I know. It happens often. Often, when Johnny advocates for retreating, Amber retorts with objections. I don't want to instigate any fights. I do not want to fight anymore. Say we're having an argument and you get mad. An argument talk. Yes, but say we're having an argument and you get mad. And even the example where she agrees that one hour cooldown would help her with her anger, she panics shortly after and reduces the period to a few minutes after which she says she becomes human cancer that's hard to reason or rationalize with. I try to help you, I can't help you. Say, so baby, taking an hour, I'm if you want to talk, don't come get me. Otherwise, I'll come check on you in an hour. That, that would be really helpful. All right? Okay. Even if you just say, it will, you know, uh, I promise I'm going resume this. I just need to know that we will talk about it. Otherwise, I'm dealing with cancer. I'm dealing with something that just festers. And it gets worse and worse. So you have to realize that, it, you know, in that kind of situation, a few minutes <laughs> is fine. But then after a certain point, it comes way worse and it comes way harder to reason, to rationalize what come. Amber seems to try everything to convince Johnny to stay and not retreat when she becomes unhinged. In what sounds like a manipulative tactic, Amber even tries to guilt trip him about being wealthy and having multiple houses that he retreats to. If things get physical, we have to separate. Mm -hmm. We have to be apart from one another, whether it's for an hour or 10 hours or a day we must there can be no physical violence i agree about the physical violence but separating for a day or I'm, night I'm, taking a night off from our marriage no 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 this means it opens up and listen i'm just giving examples it, it could be three minutes it could be two weeks i'm just no, saying you need to agree. you know what i mean i'm not saying anything negative i know all i'm saying is we need to take whatever time we need you need or i need this is the thing that makes me feel unsafe and unsafe and to be honest this is what makes me not trust What's up? It's the, that there's like... Walking away, going to a corner. No, it's like, oh, go and take the time you need, take the time you need. Okay, fine, every time we get out of here, I can go split. Except for, oh wait, I don't have my own place to go split to. No, Amber, stop. You no, know, it makes me think I should. It makes me, uh, no, I, I don't have a place I'd go. I don't have a, I don't have to go to a hotel, you know? And I don't have the funds to do that. I mean, it's... Yeah, that's not what I'm talking about. Anything up. God, if I yell, if I up, ever. Ditched. That's not marriage. You know, most people don't have two, three houses they can go to. It's always on in your house. And you won't split it. And the father said, this is my house and my house only. Kind of. But I, no. I know yesterday I... No, that's our fucking house.